When I was in college, I worked for a restaurant that made an amazing paella. Paella is more than a time-consuming dish, but your patience will be rewarded with the layers of flavor. Here's how to make my take on a classic paella. I'm Jeff Philbin. I've always loved to cook with bold flavors, fresh ingredients, and I even competed on TV for the title of America's Best Home Cook. I've learned a lot over the years, and now I want to share some of my recipes with you. This is Flavored by Flame. The first thing that I want to do is turn my burners on about medium-high heat. I'm going to add olive oil to my paella pan. I also want to make sure that I move the pan around so I'm coating the entire bottom. With a paella, it's going to need to start off with what they call a sofrito. The sofrito is really tomatoes, onions, peppers, When I'm cooking with gas, it gives me a confidence as a chef. It allows me to take on new flavors, new experiences, new dishes. I'm gonna cook this low and slow, and this is gonna take about 20 minutes. Our vegetables are still cooking down. You're gonna see a little bit of the browning around the edges of the pan. That's actually what they would call later on in this dish, the Socrats. I've got this sofrito ready. We're gonna add in our proteins layer by layer. Now with the proteins that I've got, I want to make sure that I'm going to just get a nice sear and browning of the areas of all the pork and what will be chicken that I'm going to be adding it in as well. Right here, I'm making sure that I'm moving all of our flavors around in the pan. If it starts to stick a little bit in the pan, that's okay. We can always add more oil. And we're going to keep monitoring this and stirring this around to cook all sides. It's going to take about five minutes. So we've got our chicken, we've got our pork starting to really cook. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt, a little bit pepper, and I'm also going to adjust our burners, making sure that it's at low. I'm going to start bringing in our seafood. Some grouper. I just want to put them in areas around our pan. I'm also going to add our shrimp and we're gonna let all these flavors come together. This is gonna take about four minutes. Our shrimp has all become pink, and that's a good sign that we are now at a point where we can add our all-purpose seasoning. Now, it's all about layering of flavors in this dish, and I wanna be able to incorporate everything in at the right time. I add garlic towards the tail end because I don't want it to burn throughout this whole process. Now I've added the rice, and this is a perfect time for me to make sure that I'm coating all of the areas. I want the oil to be absorbed into the rice. So the rice is toasted, it's all incorporated into the pan. Saffron is a very exotic spice that smells fantastic, and it's going to bring a nice flavor into this paella. Then incorporate our chicken broth. Now that I've scraped off all of the bottom of my pan, I can put that extra bit of saffron that I have. I can add one bay leaf, and I can bring the heat up to high. While this comes up to a boil, it gives me a chance to preheat my gas oven to 425. It's come up to a boil, and I know that I'm doing the right part because I can start seeing all of that rice. And now that I start seeing the rice coming through while I'm scraping all the bottom of it, it's a perfect time for me to reduce our heat down to low and I can add our shellfish. Very carefully, I want to place our clams. I'm also going to add some mussels. So once this goes all in for the seafood with our clams and our mussels, we could put this right into our preheat gas oven for about 35 minutes. I think it's time to pull out our paella. If any of your shellfish have not opened, don't serve them. Take them out. 
but we're pretty lucky right here. We're going to take some peas and just let them play all over the pan. We're also going to take some of our roasted red peppers and we're going to just lie them out and just do some cool little strips throughout our paella and fill in some of those pockets. We can easily find that bay leaf and you can pull it out. I'm just going to lightly let white wine onto our paella. We've taken some chicken, some pork, some seafood, some rice, an incredible base with that sofrito, and all came together. A little labor of love can go a long way to impress your family and friends. To watch full episodes and learn about available rebates from Tico People's Gas, visit peoplesgas.com cooking.